Hello and welcome to 3D Maya tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some basic techniques using Frank N cloth. By the way of getting an elastic movement. Okay, what I'm going to show you is, is this. You can see the ball just pumping over the cloth and just moving over to the top. And the cloth reacts to the shape of the cloth. Okay, you can see the bath just pumped over down and been raised over the cloth and pushed over the top. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you how kind we can achieve this. Okay, I'm stopping this video just to create a new okay. Just go to the polygons and create a plane. Click R and zoom it. Press Y for the shadowed view and go to the Subdivision with height of 50. Okay, just click the plane and just go to end cloth and click end cloth, create end cloth. Okay, after you create an end cloth, just go to right click and click vertices and just drag over the four corners of the cloth. Okay, after selecting the cloth, vertices of the cloth go to the end constraint and just select transform transform is just keeps the cloth stayed where it is constrained okay when you play these you can see the cloth being struck over the four corners that is why the transform constraint is used okay just start this video just going to extend 200 frames okay just create a sphere and drag it to the top Okay, CNF. I'm just going to add a Newton gravity field and just select the sphere and go to end cloth and just select create passive. Okay, now just select cloth and go to end cloth clip and just go into the bounce and make the bounce value of 500. That's it, and just select the sphere and just drag down over here and make okay not here or nothing okay just go to the utilities panel and just select the Newton field just come over here just make the magnitude of 200 okay attenuation of 0 0.010 that's it now when you play this you can see the ball gets falling over to the cloth and again race to the top the cloth being so friction it's not moving to the top okay what to do to that okay I'm just stopping it I'm just selecting the cloth and go to the incock shape just making the friction of zero bouncing us to 300 okay I'm just going to add a field I feel okay. Just change the magnitude to some 200. That's it. Now play the video. You can see the cloud just gets over raised because of the magnitude they are. Just I'm going to stop this and just make this below 50. Okay, fine. Now play this. When you see this, the cloth is being raised, but the ball being pumped down. The bar, the cloth being being disturbed. And the cloth again bounces the ball to the top. Okay. You can see here some sharp edges. Why we get this? Because of we are given to 50-50 subdivision levels. If you raise to Android, you will get a perfect cloth. Okay, that's it for today. This is my 3D, sorry, 3D Maya tutorial, Satish Shalvam. I'll be back with a new tutorial soon. Thank you.